my experience was I was uh, I was a member of the first battalion Welsh Guards in the second wave to go down to the Falklands on Operation Corporate, um, and through a series of events, uh, it led to us being on board a ship called the Sir Galahad. I was the closest to the bomb to survive and subsequently the worst injured to come off the ship and subsequently after that to be the worst injured to come back from the whole war alive so that i won't be defined by what happened to me rather than by what i did about it it's like most people that get badly hurt once you go through the initial phase certainly if you get injured with others where you try to help and save others as best you can once you get past that particular point then it's all about you it only becomes something that you think about that you're playing a part in as, as you move on through life and you start dealing with your own demons and you deal with your own problems. I went through my own mental health problems. I went through very severe depression and I went through PTSD. There's lots of good people out there that are doing some fantastic work. But again, I say that there are a lot of charlatans as well who are riding on the, ta the, the coattails of the good work others are doing and they may be able to work the fairy dust on one or two people then they get a glowing sort of a tribute from somebody or a recommendation but that then won't work for others you know snake oil and, and fairy dust doesn't work all the time you know we have to have greater safety checks for people otherwise we're going to see more problems you know, these families, they, they endured while the, the people are away on, on active service. And, and that's women as well, mothers who are away with, with fellas on active service. And they come home with problems. They come home with issues. And we, we just can't wash our hands of that. We are better at it. Things are better, but they're nowhere near good enough. And that's the problem.